Oh my gosh, everybody's happy. Look at all of their faces. This is the face of the modern golf gallery. That's right, we're not wearing suits and ties anymore. Nobody's smoking, well, only half the crowd seems to be smoking. Any, anyone here from Wisconsin? Any Wisconsinites? Okay, you, sir. There's no need to go back to Wisconsin today. It's four degrees in Madison. They're just boxing up the whole state. We're shipping your stuff. So just give me an address. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but it's going to be a great day, of course. Temps will be uh, moving up to about 80 by the time we wrap up the afternoon. Sunny skies all day long as well. And, of course, it is the greatest show on grass. We'll see about 600 thousand golf lovers come through the gates by the time the weekend is out and I'll tell you what the money is amazing the uh, donations raised or donations given I should say by the Thunderbirds uh, charities are just outrageous over the all of the years of the tournament 122 million dollars plus and just last year more than 10 million dollars donated uh, by the thunderbirds organization there's such a great crowd and uh of course it wouldn't be the tournament without the waste management folks as well we're going to cut through the uh the throng here and catch up with hi there hi. nice to see you thanks for watching uh catch up with the waste uh, management gang and look it's Everyone's favorite in green, Jeanette Michelli. No, so nice to see you again this great year. To see you, Corey. We we always have a great time getting together with you, and there's always something new and fun. Absolutely. Waste management puts on. I'm not just flattering you. Such a fun tournament. Uh, we've got Ricky Fowler over our shoulder here, and he's got a pretty cool looking hat. Well, tell me the story on that. Yeah, so Ricky Fowler is actually sporting a cap this year made from 100% recycled fabrics. And that's huge, right? Because in order to make recycling sustainable, we need people to make products from recycled materials. It creates that demand. Cool. And it looks as though you've been able to clone him as well. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Wouldn't that there's, be great? There's a green and a white. Pick, your, pick well, your favorite cap. Well, I love the fan shop. I don't think we've ever, uh, this is the first year we've been able to get in here. And um, I know you've got those caps in here somewhere. Let, yeah. let's, let's take a peek. So we have a whole display with his caps. We also have shirts made out of recycled materials what? too. They even say think green because that's what we want everybody to do when you come out here to the tournament is learn from us and then think green in your daily lives. Gotcha. Oh yeah, perfect. Now, I don't, have you ever made shirts before? Is this your first year for this fun? From time to time, we do come out with something new, and you can see this is 100% recycled polyester. Says Think Green, has the Waste Management yeah. Phoenix Open tournament logo. What could this shirt have been in its past life? What are the options? Probably a recycled bottle, some mm -hmm. kind of recycled fiber. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of things go into carpet. Yeah. You can make literally anything. Well, I do love the hats. Uh, I think I may go with the white. I have a huge noggin. That's my problem. Yes. Hold that a second. Yes. I, have, I have to take this all the way out to, there's a setting called circus. Yeah. Your hair me. though, Corey. Well, you know, <laughs> don't worry. I make sure that's all tucked up there in there. There you go. I promise I'll give it back, Looking but it looks good. great Looking when good. I'm wearing it. Uh, let's head outside. Speaking of the, uh, the recycling options, I love this every year, uh, how clean this tournament is. And... And again, you can walk around. You'll never see a cup on the ground. You'll never see trash blowing anywhere. Uh, tell me about these, uh, these boxes. There's something new about them this year, I think. Yeah, so fans will recognize these recycling and compost bins, but this year we worked with Pratt Industries, and that is the company that actually buys our recycled content throughout the year. So any resident or business that recycled with waste management this year put that mixed paper and cardboard in their recycling bin, this is the end result. They actually produce these from those materials we use all throughout the year. So they were a part of this. I love that. The, and, and I know you, your company is in, I mean, you're all year round thinking about this tournament and what's going to be, uh, what's going to be next. I know you have so many friends who uh, are repeat customers, so to speak. You get a lot of fans coming back. Uh, this has to be one of your most we're approaching now the zero waste station. It must be one of your most popular features, I would think. Listen to the Listen, cheering. The line waiting to spin the sustainability wheel. So what fans are doing here, Corey, is if they spin the wheel, they guess whether items are recyclable or compostable, uh -huh. and then they win a prize. So let's see, can. Oh, very good. Pardon me, friend. Uh, 
you're live with us on Fox 10 back here yes, in sir. Phoenix. Uh, where, what's your hometown? Uh, Belleville, Illinois. Belleville? That's fantastic. Illinois. There's oh, yeah. no reason to go back there, you realize. It's going to be a pretty rough weekend. Exactly. Uh, so you're going to be spinning the wheel. Are you, are you usually a winner? Yes, sir. Always. What's your first name? Jamie. All right, let's hear it for Jamie, everyone. Yay! All right, Jamie, uh, give her a spin and uh, let's see how it goes. Jeanette, what's his uh, tactic here? He seemed to put spin it pretty hard. I don't know. Let's see if he gets an easy one or a hard one. Up. Oh, I think that should be easy. Oh, where does the can go? Oh, it's recyclable. Yeah. Well done, my friend. Congratulations. Thanks for playing. You've got some lovely prizes Thank waiting. You. Oh, thanks. We're glad you're watching. Uh, so, any advice, uh, by the way, you come out every year. Any advice for the first time tournament goer? You know, it takes some time to look around when you're out here. We have some great branding. You'll see a large WM water feature that is made of 140,000 reused, recycled golf balls. So that's the other thing that we like to share with our fans is those tips that they can take home with them. So everything out here is going to go to its next best use. Recycling, compost, store for reuse, donation or if we absolutely can't do anything else with it, we'll actually take those materials and create energy. Boy, well, Jeanette, thank you so much. And uh, thanks to Waste Management for putting on such, oh yeah, you are the greenest show. Everybody knows that. It's a great hashtag, by the way. Make sure your pics all end up uh, with that. I, I love it. I Take love how the selfie world is for uh, all ages. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, again, thanks uh, so much for all the fun. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll meet again for sure, uh, 2019. You know, it's right around the corner. Yeah, and you're, if you're probably you're... missing a meeting right now. <laughs> Just for you though, Corey, in Fox 10. <laughs> so, if you're coming Saturday, wear green. Oh yeah, so it's a green out. environmental oh, yeah, charities green out. will benefit. Last year, $100,000 went to those charities. Yeah. So just anything green. See, I go all out, oh, Corey. Well, Mike, look know. at her. Look at Nobody that. does it. She leads by example, and that's the sign of a, a manager who knows what's what. All right, Jeanette Michelli uh, with Waste Management. Thanks so much. Thank and uh, again, you must come. If you've never been, it is an absolute riot. The people watching is great. The golf watching is fantastic. And uh, you won't be disappointed, Mike. Uh, have you been out here? You probably haven't been out yet this week. Uh, have you ever been able to swing out uh, and enjoy the fun, Mike? Yeah, not last, uh, not not the, the, the past year, but definitely two years ago. It was a bunch of fun on Saturday.